Good afternoon, everybody. It's Sue on the Street. And today, Sue on the Street is at the Mental Health Day. It's right in front of Los Gatos High School. Now we're going to go interview a few people. So today we're talking to the folks from Evolve Health, and we've got Nicolette Lee, who's going to speak for the organization. Hi, Nicolette. Tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm a licensed clinical social worker and I'm the program director of the Evolve San Jose location. And we provide um, partial hospitalization and intensive outpatient um, services. But we are all over California and we also have residential services. Um, we have an online program and we're serving folks that are from age 12 to 17 and uh, really want to help folks to improve and stabilize and able to get back to their regular lives. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very, very much. Okay, we're here with uh, Embodied Recovery that is a mental health treatment center here above the pizza place. So you can get your pizza and your mental health all in the same place. So we're providing treatment for people who are struggling with mental health and addiction, uh, adults 18 and over, and we're helping them to take that challenge and transform it into personal growth, recovery, and uh, really finding uh, the truth of who they are. And uh, this woman uh, works with uh, continuing education, so that's pretty exciting. And this is West Valley. Of course, we go to West Valley when we cover the farmer's market. And boy, was that fun last week. Um, and today they're here at the mental health booth. And wh why are you here? We want to be able to um, showcase um, our school and our programs um, at West Valley. Um, we have a lot of adult programs, um, older adults, and then we have free um, classes for the community. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Hi. We're, we're here with the Santa Clara County Fire Department, the people we depend on every single day of our lives to stay safe. My name is Gina Cowley, and I'm a senior community risk uh, specialist with the county fire department. And what is it that you do, Gina? Uh, my office is, um, we basically what we do is we do all the educational outreach for Santa Clara County Fire Department. And so we're out here today um, educating people on uh, emergency preparedness and we offer free safety classes every month. We, you know, the life file, all of our firefighters are trained to look for the life file and that life file helps us help them medically because it gives us all the information that we need if somebody's having a medical emergency so we I mean we run the gamut here of classes to safety information to outreach so I made a comment on last week's show about labradoodles that everybody in, in Los Gatos has a doodle a doodle this a doodle that a doodle this and I had a funny thing happen a couple weeks ago and that was I was in Burlingame having dinner at a very popular restaurant and there was a woman outside and she was carrying around a uh, a rooster a big rooster and she just like as if she had a dog and uh, I thought to myself you know instead of having a labradoodle you could have a cockadoodle and they would also serve as alarm clock four o'clock in the morning off it goes. I am Marika Sayak and I'm the Executive Director for Counseling and Support Services for Youth, which is also Cassie. Hi, and I'm Bill Sanderson. I am the superintendent of Los Gatos Saratoga Union High School District. We want um, we want everyone to know, and uh, particularly the youth, that mental health is a struggle for everyone, and that as a community, we're all here to support everyone. I think that it's very important that we start working with people at a very young age to help them understand that, uh, to get rid of some of the stigma. Because the stigma around mental health issues, if you think about it, one of the reasons that we have um, issues that are not addressed within our community is that we have a generation that grew up with a huge stigma. So how do we change that? And we change that by starting the shift very early on and working with students and providing services within our schools to help remove some of that stigma so that when those students become adults, um, they are very productive in our community and we have a huge shift in that for generations to come. And we'll get her name and the name of her organization is? YB. YB, and tell us those uninformed people like me what that stands for. Sure. So YB stands for We Have Your Back. My daughter is 10, and we started this campaign when she was in first grade. 
Um, she was having a really hard time at school. Uh, she, and, and I realized that, you know, for me, when I was growing up, things didn't happen like that until I was in seventh grade. But it's happening so much younger now. And so the importance of getting, getting in front of these kids at an earlier age and teaching them the importance of being kind is absolutely the most important thing. I always say that what most people need more than anything else is to listen to everybody else. It's been really, really interesting and uh, I'm here representing KCAT and uh, my show, Sue on the Street. And uh, until next time, have a great day.